How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's Akka again. Um, just with a couple of things. Uh, pickups yesterday. Pick up this morning. Well, actually, school this morning. And an update on um, the ABC Eureka Bullion Rounds. So, we'll, first, we'll get into what I managed to get yesterday. Coming back from my journey down to Collie. Um, for the job interview, uh, yes, it looks like it's all a go ahead, and uh, just waiting on organize, getting a medical organized and a few inductions to mine site. So, on the way back, we stopped at Swan and uh, I decided to get myself a one tenth Oz of platinum. Yeah, the only one they had there was. The Britannia, so little one one tenth Britannia. Um, when you hold it up to the light, it does reflect all sorts of different colours every now and then. Um, not too very keen on the shiny. I like the the dull matte finish of platinum itself. But hey, it is what it is. Um, so that's that from Swan. So this morning I sent out a mail to somebody and uh, I was at the post office and I got in the change a giant Murray River cod post office series from this year and they have the Queen's Memorial dates on these as well see a trend that Perth's, Perth Mint set started and it's now gone over into the just general coinage uh, what have we got here we've got the big swoop bloody magpie um, I can't read what that is I'll just quickly get the obviously the Murray River cods from the Murray River uh, what's this one Canberra yeah, bullshit capital of Australia. Okay, same deal on this side. Big swoop, magpie. Just a post office series. I'll be sending these guys out to his in mail calls. Um, I'm not really going to bother about collecting them. They have got a few dings. Obviously, they've probably been around a little bit. Swan Hill, there we go. Swan Hill for the giant Murray Cod. Uh, yesterday on my little journey, I um went past past a place. I you know, had to go down a couple of k's down the road, but they had the big orange. And I thought, oh god, how come they haven't got that one on a coin yet? So we've got the big banana, Coffs Harbour. I bet you a lot of you wish you had a big banana. Hey. Just gets you into trouble, mate. That's all it does. Alright, so once again, this here is not really on par as a mint condition. A few dings and scratches, but anyway, I didn't have to go hunting around for them. Just ended up at the post office. So... That was the pickups and so forth. So now to go into this ABC bullion business. I rang up Sydney headquarters. Now this one is not that crash hot, but it's in a um, capsule now. Uh, eight of the ten were shocking. So I spoke to the sales manager quality control guy in Sydney um, he's instructed I told him what's going on I said look you know we've got a YouTube channel the intention of getting these was to send them out to Americans in mail calls um, to send them something different I explained everything and I he looked I told him to look through I told him I sent him an email to uh, have a 
look he found it and he had a look at the pictures and he's just gone oh my fucking goodness are you kidding me and i said no nah, mate i don't tell fucking jokes all right especially when it comes to this i explained to him he goes oh he said to me that some people just aren't interested in the like that they just want to stack for weight rah, rah, rah. i said mate that doesn't make fucking sense because when they go to sell it back they'll get fucking nothing for it because it looks like shit right so i had to sort of give him a bit of an education i said listen you know you gotta lift your game i'm telling you i said if i sent these out as gifts to americans they're gonna plaster it all over youtube so i told him my youtube channel he had a look i told him that send to georgie got one i said you can see fingerprints and shit all over that too and uh yeah he's instructed me to when i can to um take the remainders and i've got them all over here with information my receipt take it in the in the proper place where to go buy stuff all right got them all in here told them they're all in um slips that have been treated with kid gloves i've got capsules and a couple of slips he's told me to he's gonna instruct him to open up a brand new tube and i'm to make a selection of which ones i want all right um so but you know it's i've got to go into perth i've got to fuck around again but hey, at least I've come to the party. He's seen the photos that I sent him in the email. And uh, yes, n not happy. All right. So like I said, I said, I'm not ragging ABC bullion, you know, from the person. He, he, not, he understood perfectly where I'm coming from, that the, the first, um, your first experience and the person that you're speaking to is meant to be top notch all right i did say in the guy's defense he was freaking out the computers are down he was using this fucking old jurassic fucking tablet and everything but i did i did have a good little yarn to him and so forth he looked at my channel he looked at my email and i think he even had a look at send to georgie all right so he said i said yeah he said i'm i'm looking at it right now and he's going yes that is not good and he did. He went in to say, "Look, we're we're looking for ways to fix this, um, fix our products, try to make some new stuff." I said, "Hey, look, guys, you know, you just do the, do, you get it right. You you be great. You know, it's just that you know, fuck, first impressions, mate. They fucking go a long way. All right. So my suggestion was, and he actually listened." I said, the problem is that you've got such a beautiful proof finish that these have to be handled with kid gloves. Like this one here is not that fancy to be put in a airtight, but it's in there. Because I actually didn't think that I'd get anything resolved. But um, I did suggest that maybe getting rid of putting in a frosted finish and a frosted background would help alleviate the drama see like down here on the landscape you know you, you wouldn't really no, be noticeable it's not so susceptible to this proof finish okay probably leave the proof finish inside that and so forth and work something out and and i was surprised the guy listened to my ideas you see there i'm taking notes you know we we want to try and improve this product and so forth so and that's about the long and short of it, guys. I've got to go back into Perth. I've got to go back into that ABC bullion office and uh, take my fucked ones back in. And um, he's going to have to open. He said, make sure he calls me when you get in there because he's going to have to open a brand new tube for you. So my instructions is, and then what he told me, he said, from now on, if you know anyone that wants to go into ABC Bullion into Perth, please let them know that you are buying as a collector. Okay, I did state to him that I was getting these. I was going to send them over to America as gifts in mail calls. And, uh, but yeah, obviously, it fell upon deaf ears. Or just wasn't listening, thinking that I'm just a fucking Muppet. All right, okay. And, uh, yeah. Guess what, mate? 
I was talking to one of the big wigs in Sydney, mate, and he was fucking listening to me. All right, so we'll keep you posted on that. Um, that's about it. So we'll knock off the day with the Platinum Britannia. Only a little one-tenth, but hey, it's something. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.